Good evening. Emily Nelson says her son has a health condition that prevents him from wearing a mask in school, though she would not say what that health condition is. But school officials say they are following the state mask mandate to keep everyone safe. Would you allow a disabled child to be kicked out of class? Parents at Hughes Middle School in Tustin spent the first day of school protesting after 12 year old Ezra Nelson was not allowed in class because he was not wearing a mask. It was very emotional because it was my first day of school and I wanted to be normal, but I wasn't able to. Ezra says his teacher told him he needed to wear a mask per the school's policy, which follows state guidelines requiring students and teachers to wear masks to curb COVID infections. I said to, I prefer not to. So then they brought me to the front and tried to give me a mask. And I said I prefer not to. Ezra was escorted out of the classroom. I was not allowed to return. He says the same thing happened to him several times last year too. He was in the principal's office, and and I I did receive calls last year. Ezra's mom, Emily Nelson, says her son has a medical condition with a doctor's note. She says she tried opening a 504 plan for him, which allows children with identified disabilities to receive accommodations. They said that for him to go back into school, we had two options, put on a mask or leave school. So I said, essentially, are you kicking my son out for his medical health condition. Nelson would not disclose the medical condition that prevents her son from wearing a mask. Oh, I prefer not to. I mean, we, we're, we're allowed to keep that private, but, um, but, but we do, yes, we do have a note and um, he has been treated. We reached out to the Tustin School District for a response, and they issued the following statement, saying in part, quote, we are doing everything possible to provide healthy and happy learning environments for our students. There are options available in the form of independent study for anyone that may be opposed to the state's mask mandate. Obviously, we could step away from the school system, system and do private school or homeschooling. Um, but Ezra chooses to be at school. He wants to be there with his friends. And for now, the Nelsons plan to keep Ezra in school without a mask. We've stood our ground and we're going to take it a day at a time. But... And Nelson says she'll be going back to the school tomorrow morning to talk to officials about a 504 plan for her son once again. Reporting live this evening, I'm Coco McAvoy, Fox 11 News.